They may be arch rivals, but have always maintained an unspoken norm. But this political season has witnessed a huge shift in strategy. BJP's prime ministerial nominee has now decided to campaign in the Gandhi bastion of Amethi, breaking a rule that both parties have followed over the years. From personal attacks to entering bastions, they have shattered all the unwritten rules this poll summer. He is gearing up to set his foot in Amethi on May 5th. But his decision to campaign in the Gandhi bastion being perceived as the end of the unspoken norm. Suppose uh, BJP uh, star campaigners in the past were sensible people. Uh, now if you lose, uh, if you lose the sense of, of uh, the what is right and what is wrong uh, in public life, uh, I'm not saying that anyone should show any favor to our leadership. But you know there are, there are certain unwritten rules about democracy. The unspoken rules that the Congress is now furious about, broken several times this election season. The Congress maintains that Modi campaigning in Amiti will not hurt Rahul Gandhi's electoral chances. But at the same time, the party has used the occasion to hit out at Modi. Congress says that by doing this, Modi has broken the unwritten rule of personally attacking or campaigning against political parties' prominent families. Personal attacks was one thing, but dragging each other's family into their bitter fight was a complete no-no. And yet, both parties crossed the line. Thank you, Chief Minister. Okay, I don't know how many elections are fought. I've written the first time that the marriage is married. This is the RSVP model, RSVP. And Rahul is the RSVP model. Now Narendra Modi's decision to campaign in Amiti on the 5th of May only going on to prove it's an open war and both Congress and BJP not wanting to consider the unsaid rules as the battle for 2014 intensifies. With Nandita Suneja, Sagarika Mitra for Times Now.